the President McKinley uh, CB radio. This is the Euro version. Now the Euro version comes with 40 UK FM only channels and the CEPT European MIDS 40 channels. Now with the European ones you can have AM, FM and upper and lower sideband but for the UK FM you are tied just to the 40 channels on FM. One of the easiest ways to recognise if your President McKinley is an, a European version or an American version is to actually look at the, uh, the clarifier uh, control at the top there on the left. On the European version it is a single knob. Um, on the American versions you have a coarse and fine tuner, very similar to the control here on the right hand side. Now this President McKinley is an untouched uh, version. It's a UK version and as such comes with a expected 4 watts of a total output power on FM, uh, AM and uh, sideband is around about 10 to 12 watts. So first test then, uh, President McKinley, strain at the box, FM transmission, it's reporters having a 4 watt output. So let's see what we're actually getting. There we go. Actually, fact, we're getting less than 3 watts, a tad under 3 watts there. We'll repeat that test now on AM. Now, we'll do it as a dead key to start with, and I'll do a little bit of modulation just to see if we get any swing. So, dead key. Again, just under 3 watts. One, two, three. Barely pushes it up to 3 watts there. Right, next we're going to do the sideband. Now I'm only going to test upper sideband, upper and lower sideband should be the same. I'll do a quick count of five, and then I'll do a slight whistle at the end just to see if we can uh, peek out any uh, any more wattage. Again, it's actually set this time on the PEP, peak output, um, and they say we're looking for the needle here coming over. We're hoping really, they said between 10 and up to 10 or 12 watts, but from what we've seen so far, I'm not expecting that. So let's give it a go. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got a sturdy whistle there. It's probably peaking 5.5. May have touched six, but it looked like more like 5.5. Three and a half, four watts generally talking there. So uh, not as advertised out of the box as such. But there you go. Uh, that is the standard President McKinley. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the top cover and uh, modify this for use on the 10 meter band. Right, here we go then. So safety first, I've disconnected all the power supplies to the radio. I've opened up the top cover, which was a matter of just removing five screws. Top metal cover slid off, exposing the, all the internals. It's a very neat uh, little uh, circuit board you have here actually in the President McKinley. It's very well made indeed. Uh, lots of surface mount components as well, so be careful when you go inside. The area you need to concentrate on is here, it's just down here towards the very front panel. There's a white cable, a link, and there's also a solid link here. Now, the link wire link has to be removed. You can desolder this, or you can just cut it and then insulate the ends and the solid mount here has to be lifted off the pins and moved in the as we're viewing it to the left and re-plugged it back in. That should enable the uh, 10 meter band and extended frequency coverage. Also extends the uh, some of the uh, menu controls as well, gives you extra options. So we'll take a look. Now I have zoomed in the best I can with the small camera that I've got. Um, resolution might be a little bit uh, less at the moment but you can see there that is the actual wire itself it needs the link needs to be removed and there's the solid plastic block which is currently on positions one and two and needs to be moved to positions two and three now you should be using uh, insulator tools on this even though it is actually uh, unplugged unfortunately all I've got with me at the moment is a small pair of scissors so I will proceed to actually cut the very fine little white wire like so. 
The next stage is to actually move the link. And I'm going to have to get my big stumpy fingers in there for that bit. Right, I've saved the uh, the uh, the boredom of watching my big thumpy fingers going in trying to remove uh, the plug on J J407. I've moved it anyway now with these uh, fine pair of pliers from position one and two to two and three. The white wires I've also insulated now with um, some actually tape around it as well. So that's now nicely protected and uh, supported and uh, it's not going to short out on anything. That is the modification, I believe. So now, basically, to reassemble it, and we'll see if we've got any increase in power. Right, the radio is back together. The as you see, the white wire had been uh, the link had been uh, severed. So to remove the link, and the little plastic link, I've actually moved over. Uh, I had to use a little pair of pliers in the end because my fingers were just too big to get in there. So, the moment of truth. Well, all looks good. Everything's lighting up. So, we've now got, actually on there, if you can see, that we've got a, a little letter A. And by pressing my, my fingers, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and K. Oh, and an I. There we go. And an L. J. And back to A again. We've got many, many channels, and you can also still press and hold that button. And it will, oh, I've got to put it in the FM mode first. Go into FM mode, and then if you press and hold that button there, it takes us into the UK band as well. So there we go, a bonus. So we've got the UK FM channels. We've got frequencies from down in 24 megs up to 30. Um, we've also got a VFO mode now, where in the menu you can set up if it's one hertz, one kilohertz, uh, 10 kilohertz, what type of step size you want. So you can tune to any frequency now between, I think it's 24 point, it might be in the 7 or 8 range, top end of 24 megs, up until the low end of 30. The whole band. So if you're if it's legal in your country and you're, you've got the license to transmit in those areas, you can do. So let's see if we've actually changed any power. Now there are internal pots you can change and turn to increase power. Um, I've not touched any of those. These are straight as it comes out of the box. It's just the link modification. That's all it's been done. So let's see if it's given us any bonus, bonus extra power. So now with the links removed or the link changed over, we'll try the test first of all on FM. Uh, remember before we were getting about three and a half watts. So let's see if this changed anything. And there we go. Wow, look at that. We've got into the dummy load I think you can see on the needle there, it's about 19 watts, 1.9, 19 watts. Big improvement from that 3.5 we had earlier. So now for the AM test, and again I'll do a, a dead key. Uh, remember before we were getting around about approximately 3.5 watts again. Uh, and then we'll do a little bit of modulation just to see if we get any swing. So we're looking again here on the needle here. So there's a big improvement straight away on dead key. Approximately about 8 watts. And see if we've got any swing. we got a little bit of swing there. we got 1, 2, 3, 4. So touching about 14 watts at maximum there. I'm using the standard microphone as well. Now I believe with a amplified or powered microphone, this will increase slightly more. But this is a standard stock President microphone that comes with it. So again, from the original 3.5 watts, we have got quite an improvement. So now for uh, finally the power test, we're going to do the sideband, upper sideband again. Um, they were saying in uh, forums and that you could get 20 to 25 watts out of this, but uh, um, that's probably with some internal adjustments. But let's see what we're getting right this moment. This is peak power. A one, two, three, four, five. Probably peaking around about 12 watts there, 10 to 12 watts. So not much more than uh, my legal uh, legal licensed output of 10 watts. So I wouldn't need to tweak that down much at all on the internal power, on the menu power settings. Let's have a look at peak power. I'll give you a little whistle. Uh, just a tad over 15 watts. So not the 20 or 25, but 
like I say, I believe some people use a, a, a third party power mic. And you can as well go in and tweak the pots inside slightly if you are that power hungry. Um, I wouldn't, I personally would not recommend that. Um, you know, 10 to 15 watts output on these radios, I think, is more than enough. Um, the finals on them are, are pretty robust, but uh, like everything, you don't want to push them. You don't want the radio to get too hot. So this is a nice, nice balance. Um, it's not one of these mega, it's not one of these export radios that puts out 30, 40, 50 watts of power. But what do you need? Given the right propagation, 10 watts, as I've proved you know, using my foundation license, will get you thousands of miles. So uh, happy with that. And it does open up the menu as well. There are many other options in there. Now, I won't go into that now because there are many other videos out there if you wish to look at them. So in the title of this uh, video, I said it's uh, never too late to join the party. Well, what I was meaning by that is the President McKinley has been around now for some four years plus. In that time, it's been well tested, well used, uh, well reported on many videos out there. And there are very few, if any, negative reports on the President McKinley. It's a very nice size radio. It's designed to fit in the average DIN hole of a radio installation on your car, if you so wish. It's got a forward-facing speaker, which is very crisp and very clear. The audio is quite clear as well. It's crisp. Generally, it's a nice radio. The display is a little bit small, but bigger than some. Um, I've not actually tried it out in the sunlight yet. And um, the biggest downside of this ever was always reported is the cost. Now, here in the UK, these radios have been sold for upwards of £270. Uh, in many cases, around about, if you're shopping around, you could get them around the 250 British pounds mark. Quite expensive for a radio, unless you're talking the some of the uh, Strikers, uh, Galaxies, and other, what a few other exotic radios that say are maybe a little bit more expensive. But off the shelf radios, as far as this radio goes, it is one of the most expensive. It's the, it's the flagship for the President range. Um, but you are getting what you pay for. Now, I've not bought one up to now because primarily the cost. I didn't really want to, well, I couldn't really afford to spend that type of money on, on a radio such as this with just four watts of power. But as time's gone on, it's been released a bit of information about this radio. And of course, you can now do the link mod. Um, there are other internal modifications you can do if you if you so desire. And like I say, it's legal to do so. But um, these radios are now coming onto the second hand market. And that's why I say it's never too late to join the party. These radios are out there. People are now... Um, changing they've just got a little bit fed up with them maybe just want something slightly different and they're coming onto the market they're coming onto the market of up to you've got to shop around but i've got this one about 70 percent less than buying a new one 70 percent less than buying a new one it was a bargain apart from a little 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 nick in the plastic just on the red edge there where somebody's just called it the radio is absolutely as good as new, spotless. Hasn't been touched, wasn't modified. The screws have never been out. And it is a MacLit radio. Um, I spoke to the guy who owned it. He was a CBer. Unfortunately, he bought it. And in his current location, he was under so much electrical interference, he never used it. And it sat there on a shelf for the last couple of years, not being used. So he decided now to get round to selling it. And he sold it at a very reasonable price. Didn't haggle. I gave him the price he wanted for it. I'm well pleased. He's well pleased. So there we go. The President McKinley Radio. If you're in the market for a CB radio, standard, or if you're in the market for a radio you can modify for use on 10 meters, then this could be a very good choice for you. This has been Enthusiastic Steve talking about the President McKinley. All the very best, 73s.